Uh, the general alarm is set up to inform the entire rig of any of, of any of three conditions. Number one, fire. Number two, combustible gas. Number three, toxic gas. Each one of those um, conditions has a distinct tone and a distinct visual light. We have light columns throughout the rig, one red. Uh, within the column, there's a red, a yellow, and a blue. With the red being fire, yellow being toxic, blue being combustible. So you get an audio tone and a visual tone with every general alarm. Did you get either one of those alarms on the evening of April 20th? No, sir. Do you know why you never got that alarm, sir? Yes, they were bypassed. And how do you know they were bypassed, sir? Because I physically seen it on the screen. They're actually what's considered inhibited, not bypassed. The correct In word is inhibited. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you please explain what inhibited means to me then? I'm sorry. <coughs> you have four states of alarms. You have a normal operating condition. You have an inhibited condition, which simply means that the, the sensor is active, it is sensing, and it will alarm. It will give the information to the computer, the computer, but the computer will not trigger an alarm for it. It will give you the indication, but it won't trigger the actual alarm. And then there's an override condition, which means that the computer will not consider that sensor for any purpose. Were there any uh, al alarms that were in the override position? None that I'm aware of. Okay. Do you know why uh, this was inhibited on the Deepwater Horizon the system? When I discovered it was inhibited about a year ago, I inquired as to why it was inhibited. And the explanation I got was that they, from the OIM down, they did not want people woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning due to false alarms. 